All right, so I'm back with Mortal Kombat 4. I don't know why I love playing this game so much. It's so broken, but it's one of my favorite Mortal Kombat games ever. And I'm doing this solely because of I drew a picture of Fire God Liu Kang, which should be going off on the side right now on the screen. I'm going to actually do a larger tower and hope that the game doesn't freeze because that happens for whatever reason. Of course, I got Liu Kang first. Oh my God, I forgot how to play for a second. This Liu Kang is completely broken, by the way. Alright, that was easy so far. I ain't about to stay like that, but whatever. That is so easy to get off. Look at how far on the screen that flying kick goes. Hold on. Far back, can I get... Oh. Look at this. It's like the easiest Mortal Kombat game to play. Which might be why I loved it so much. It was the first Mortal Kombat game I actually understood playing like as a child. It's like playing Mortal Kombat like two and three, especially two on like arcade. No child is gonna know how to play that game. Especially when it's designed to like cheat. No kid's gonna wanna stick with that long enough to actually figure it out. Oh my god. Okay, enough of that. Oh, why my kicks ain't coming out? Oh, but as far as this fire god Liu Kang picture on the side is concerned, that. One of my more challenging pictures that I've had to do in recent memory just because there's so much that had to go into that. Specifically towards the end, you'll start to see how tedious I was getting with the uh, fireball. Like the fire and then Liu Kang's tattoos, which I almost forgot about. I had to add the little beads that he wore around his neck because I happened to look at a picture of Fire God uh, Liu Kang and see him. It's like, oh, I forgot to draw those. I had to go back and draw them at a certain point. And I wasn't recording, so they just appear at some point towards the end of the video. Luckily, it's the only part that I really forgot. <laughs> These noises in this game. Oh my God. Is that like the gun from the Power Rangers? Oh my God. What kind of contraption was that the Fujin just had? Oh my god. Come on now. What are these noises Liu Kang is making? I don't know how I got away with that, but... Oh, and then the finishing part of the picture at the very end, uh, adding the logo is also a challenge. And trying to do that picture and allowing it to still be colorful. It's also harder than I thought it was going to be. Did he grab me out of a grab? How does that work? This game is so broken. Right underneath him, all right. But at some point, I'm gonna stop drawing uh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat pictures for a while. Just after seeing the character designs for the new game, I wanna get as many of them out of my system now as humanly possible. 
especially before new characters start getting revealed. Uh, please tell me this did not freeze. I feel like it did. Why every time I do this with Liu Kang, this f Okay, it's not letting me do larger towers, so. And I have to remember that I started that at the character select screen, but anyways. All right, so I got Scorpion first. Like I said, I don't know why it's not letting me get anything off on the larger towers, but it freezes every time I try to do it, so. Oh, crap. I saw it coming and didn't block. Also, the Fire Guy Liu Kang outfit is simpler than I thought it was. Like, it's not as complex of an outfit. The upper body part is more complicated, that and the tattoos. Like, it's a lot of small details in a simple design, if that makes any sense. Probably not. Ah, Kai would be an interesting character to draw. I wish he was back in the Mortal Kombat games anyways. They've done nothing with him. I love people that go like, oh, Kai doesn't mean anything to Mortal Kombat. Of course, he's only been in like one game. Okay, that's getting very annoying. I don't know why it's not letting me get the bicycle kick off, but Round two. Fight. like Kai was supposed to be like the next Shaolin monk of Mortal Kombat, and they just abandoned that entirely. Oh, he grabbed me out of the bicycle kick. He reared up for it and everything. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta stop that. This is the most scrub Mortal Kombat 4 play you will ever see. Even for a game that's broken. Reiko. Wow, he looked nothing like this in the movie. I still don't get why you would cast Nathan Jones as Reiko and not Shao Kahn. <sighs> I keep missing that. Hey, he was not having that. <laughs> oh! Yeah, he was not having that one. Alright, let me stop. Got desperate and just thought I was about to spam. Uh, maybe if I stop jumping, that would help. Or if, like, you know, I blocked. For the bicycle kick again, I just said I was going to stop doing that. I love how hitting back and high kick the roundhouse, he's kicking you in the front and not from behind like that. Oh, I put myself right in the corner, you know. I love how it let me get all those hits in after it said finish them. It scared me for a second. I thought it froze again. I was about to say we will definitely be playing a new game after this. <laughs> I have no time to be putting up with Mortal Kombat. This is going to make this tougher to edit anyways. 
Just for my drawing being in the background and this and trying to time this up properly. Oh my god. Come on now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I bit the fart. That's what I get. That's exactly what I get. I meant to throw the fireball. And... Alright, that time I tried. What are these noises they're making? Oh, it's Kano. Just keep running like that. Thinking it's cool. Oh my god. I just said it's Kano and didn't see that coming at all. He's probably the most lackluster character on this roster. Like he's just Kano, there's nothing else to his character. He's even in the Black Dragon and everything. I don't get what the logic was in not putting Kano in the game if they were just gonna do that. Luke Cage's noise are always the funniest thing in Mortal Kombat games to me. And here we go. Get ready to see a lot of flying kicks. Round one. Fight. Oh. Good thing that flying kick got him right out of the way of that jump. Lucky it did that stupid. I'm not gonna attack glitch. And note, I'm not playing this on hard. I'm definitely not trying to go through Goro and Shinnok on hard difficulty. Somebody's really going crazy on the horn outside. I hope that's not being picked up by my microphone. Yeah, let's try to uppercut Goro. That makes a lot of sense. Oh my god, I don't know how I got that off. Alright, that was easy enough. Probably my easiest run of Shinnok. You be tearing me up when I play with Sub-Zero. Oh my god, I sat there and watched him throw that at me. Sat there and watched it twice. So stupid. Right, I think I got him this time. Yep. Oh, it's not gonna say flawless victory now. It's the one time I got it. The supreme champion of Mortal Kombat. Don't know why that's different. Why is he bent over like that? Doing so, I have also lost Katana forever. Katana? Yes, Luke. It is I, 
but I thought you were gonna lick with Shinnok's destruction, you have not only saved the <laughs> this is so awful. but you've also saved my own realm. For that, I can never repay you. Knowing that you survived is all that I need. As heir to the throne of my realm, I offer you the chance to rule at my side. As King of Edenia, forever. I cannot accept your offer. I belong here on Earth as champion of Mortal Kombat. Then, I wish you good luck, Liu Kang, on all your journeys. Goodbye, Princess Kitana. Alright, so that's Mortal Kombat 4. The Shadow. Not shadow. The Fire God Liu Kang picture should be done right about now and should be on the screen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be back with you guys soon. And I'm out.